Okay, so what we're going to do today is um, process revision. And then in the second part of the class, we're actually going to do energy revision. Okay, so with that, I will start the worksheet for today. Right, so Stephen was playing with his remote control car. We were traveling along the straight road, right? Ryan's remote control car was traveling same speed, opposite direction. Right, so state one effect of force. Okay, so what are the six effects of forces? Okay, before we start on the question, let's do a recap on what are the effects of forces. Okay, guys, you can just unmute yourself and uh, say it to your mic. A force can move a stationary object. Very good, move a stationary object. And change the shape of an object. Can I say start the object? Uh? Stop. What else? There are six, right, in total. The speed of a moving object. Change speed, right? So far, we change speed. Change the direction. Yes. Okay, so change speed has two, right? Either you speed up or slow down. Right? And then the last one will be change. Wait, wait, someone says something. Direction. Yes, very good. Change direction. Okay, so in this question for 1A, which effect of forces will be the most appropriate? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Which one is the most appropriate to use for 1A? Can I see? Yeah, yeah, of course. Change shape. Change shape, right? Yes. Okay, so change the shape. Okay, so what is it that you need? What is the effect of force that you observe in this? The cars will change shape. Yes. And it also change speed. Yes, you also can write change speed. So what how will you how will you write it as a complete sentence for question one A? You need to okay, so okay, what I'll do right is that most of you have the correct concept in your mind, right? So the, the, the next step right is to be able to craft it in a way that you can secure marks in the exam. Right, so of course, um, the most appropriate would be to change shape, right? So of course, there are also things like you change speed or stop the moving, uh, stop the car, right? So you need to say that a push force was exerted, right? To change the shape of the car when they collided. Okay, so you need to apply the effect of the force to the context of the question, right? So in doing that, you need to also craft a complete sentence, right? So using the effect of force, craft a complete sentence, and then with that, you have your answer, right, for 1A. Okay, so for 1B, right? Okay, so we go through the answers, right? So jumping up is a push, right? And then your cutting paper with a pair of scissors, right, Jaden, is push and pull. Because in the scissors, there are two blades. One of the blades is pushing against the paper. The other blade is pulling into the paper, right? So it's a push and pull. Okay, flattening plus thing is just a push. Right, taking a piece of tissue paper out of a box is pull. Okay, so with that, it will be your answer for 1B. Okay, Ken. So do you all see the process notes here that I'll go through with you guys? Okay, so I'll just very quickly go through, right? So forces. Right, force can be a push or a pull, right? So you cannot see a force, but you can see effects of force. So effects of force is something we did to a very large extent today, okay? So this is a common exam question. It's a common pitfall that many students make, right? So effects of force, just be very clear, what is it, right? So these are the five things, right? So move stationary, stop moving object, change direction, change speed, change shape. Okay, so change speed, some schools will split it into two effects, right? So increase the speed, decrease the speed. Right, but essentially it's the same thing. So it'll be five or six, depending on how you split 0.4. Okay, so four types of forces that you need to know for your syllabus, magnetic force, gravitational force, elastic spring force, frictional force. Okay, so magnetic force, there are always two types of magnetic force. Okay, so magnetic force of attraction, magnetic force of repulsion. Right, so next one is frictional force. So frictional force can only be when they are touching each other, right? So remember just now when you do question four, if they are not touching each other, then there is no frictional force between the two objects. Okay, so friction can be useful and harmful, right? So harmful is when your soles of the shoe will get worn out, right? But it's useful because it can prevent you from slipping. Okay, so friction is mentioned, right? It's always friction between the surface of something and something, right? Okay, so always remember this. Okay, so either use this or what we did today, which is frictional force. 
between something and something. Okay, it's always in this writing structure. Okay, so there are two other forms of frictional force, right? So you got air resistance. So always remember parachute, right? So the only reason why the parachute doesn't allow you to free fall onto the ground is because of air resistance, right? And then for fish swimming, it is because of their streamlined body shape, you'll reduce their water resistance so that it can swim well.